Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. Today, find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, RSI, Divergence and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Taking a look at the hourly time frame for IOTA, it can be seen that the price went down with around 2.9% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 27.0 cents. The volume was actually high showing that this move was strong and the sellers are taking over. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 27.1 cents. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Looking at the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 47, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 27.4 cents. Looking at the three hourly relative strength index, the current three hourly RSI is at 44, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. On the lookout for divergences in the three hourly time frame, there is a bullish divergence, which means the price could go up from now or at least consolidate for some time. Looking at the three hourly MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. The momentum is currently indecisive, according to the MACD histogram. This means you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish, due to the expected shifting momentum. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 200 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 23.4 cents it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 28.8 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Jumping to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 40, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the daily MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time.